Hello, in this tutorial we're going to show how Cut3D can be used to slice very thick or very large three-dimensional models into separate pieces that can be machined and then assembled to make finished projects. So if we start by loading a model, here we have a, an STL mesh that's been designed using Poser. So we import or open the model. In the three-dimensional view we have the character. The character is in the wrong orientation. The cutting plane is the dark green area here, so the x-axis and the y-axis. We really need the character to be lay, lay down. So we're just going to say so we're going to machine him from the front. So looking from the front, if we click front, and the character is now lay down in the three-dimensional view. So we have the x-axis, the y-axis. We may wish to rotate it through 90 degrees to have the long axis along the x-axis on the machine. So if we say rotate 90 degrees, and let's just say mirror, so he's looking in the right orientation. Okay, let's say we wish to machine this character full size. So let's say we wish to make a six foot high three dimensional model. So we make it 72 inches long. This scales the, the y axis to be almost 30 inches and the height of the model to be almost 15 inches. If we hit the apply button. 15 inches high is often far too high for most CNC machines and also we probably wouldn't be able to get some material that was that was thick enough to cut it all in one go. So what we're going to do, we're going to say this is a two-sided model. So we're going to machine the, this poser character, the top half and the bottom half. But let's say we're going to cut him in two inch thick sheets of material. So apply, go to the next stage. You'll see here that we have the cut plane, so the, the dark green area. We can move this down slightly, so move it down. You'll see as it passes through the character. So we move him down to about centrally through the body. Hit the apply button. Now that we've sized the character and we've also placed the clip, cut plane through the middle, we can now say create slices above the plane and create slices below the plane. So we set file save slice model enter the material thickness so two inch slices we're going to minimize the slice areas this is used to reduce the bounding box to be the actual limits of each slice so click ok give the file a name and save the software is now slicing the top and the bottom it's calculated for the top half of the design it's calculated five two inch thick slices for the bottom half of the design it's calculated three two inch slices it tells us where the files have been saved so we just close this for a moment so file close open now we have we have slice one for the top of our design just twiddle this around you can see now we place the cursor over the design. Down in the bottom right hand corner we get the X and the Y and the Z print out. So if we just zoom in you can see that the top surface is Z0 and the bottom is minus 2 so this is the thickness of the material. Now we wish to machine this, this slice so we say next. We can move the origin. At the moment the origin is in the middle we could say we want the origin to be in the left hand bottom left hand corner to be at 0 zero and apply okay click the next button so we're going to do rough machining with a quarter inch cutter z level calculate so the software has now created rough machining around the boundary of our design but it notice that it's not machining onto the top flat areas the next button so we're going to finish machine with a quarter inch bore nose. Calculate. So the software is now calculating the raster passes. So it's calculated the finishing tool path for this, for this particular slice. So next, we're not going to cut the piece out. So now if we say preview the roofing tool path. 
see that the, the roughing toolpath is stepping down and machining the unwanted material away. We preview the finishing toolpath and this is now machined the slice to give us the detail. Okay, so remember that was slice one. We would now save these toolpaths. So we'd say next, select the machine, save the toolpaths and cut the slice on the machine. And we would say probably save this file. File open. Look at the second slice. So the second slice has got some detail for the face. It's also got the the main part of the body. So we say next. Go through exactly the same process. So we move the origin to say the bottom left hand corner. And apply. Next. We calculate a roofing tool path. Or if we have a, a long enough tool and we're cutting foam for example. We could say ignore the roofing tool path. Let's just do the finishing tool path. So calculate. Software's now calculated the finishing tool path using the quarter inch bore nose. Next. Next again. And again we can preview this tool path. And that would give us some more detail. Would give us the next slice that we can stick on top of the first slice. We'd save this file. look at slice 3. Slice 3 we do exactly the same. Calculate the toolpaths, machine the blocking material and stick the pieces together. So remember that what we've done is we've sliced the model up, we've sliced the top sections and we've also sliced the bottom sections after machining they can all be assembled together. Thank you very much.